How do you learn? Chances are that you don't learn by reproducing hundreds of times until one iteration of you is finally able to successfully do the task. But if you do, then you may be a genetic algorithm. In 1957, an Australian genetic scientist by the name of Alec Fraser published one of the first papers discussing artificial selection. This paper led the way to the groundbreaking works of genetic algorithms, also known as GAs. Taking inspiration from natural selection, genetic algorithms work by rating an AI's performance against several versions of itself. From there, the top performing AIs are then selected to create offspring with similar attributes modified only slightly. And for the rest? This process is then repeated multiple times or until the desired outcome is achieved. Genetic algorithms, while not limited to, work best in fixed situations unlike their distant relatives, genetic neural networks. But let's not get too far ahead. For a game like Mario, where the enemies are always in the same place at the same time, a genetic algorithm can create a map of moves to best complete the game. Think of this almost like a maze for the AI to solve. The game will always be repeatable, so there is no reason to learn strategies, but rather what inputs at what frame achieve your goals best. Each AI may have 100 moves it's allowed to make and 4 possible moves, being left, right, up, and down. From there, the AI will then play the game alongside multiple other versions of itself. Once a time condition or an event has occurred, all of the AIs are then pooled together and evaluated. The AI with the best score shares their moves to the next generation. Some genetic variations occur in the moves too. While the model AI might say go right two turns and then jump, the offsprings may say something like go right for three turns, or jump, then go right, then jump, or go right, then go left, then jump. The implementation for genetic algorithms isn't too flashy, but then again, neither is natural selection. With an unlimited amount of resource and time, eventually one generation will get things right. Alright, let's now take a dive into the code. Coding a genetic algorithm is more about coding the environment than the actual AI. If you can make a game playable to humans, then what you do is remove the human interaction and set up the inputs per frame to be a list of moves. That's what you can see here with our Geo class. In addition, we can reuse the score that the user will get and have that be what the model gets graded on. After that, we create two functions, one to create noise from a list and one to create offsprings. And there we have it, the AI is all done. Now it's time to look at the game. The game consists of four functions, jump, scroll, fall, and death. These are called in their respective order in the move function. And then the move function is called in our game loop until either a geo completes the game or all have died. And there you have it. You too can now create AIs to play games and perfect them. If you want to play around with this for yourself, my website can be found in the comments and descriptions below. The code is also posted publicly to my GitHub for a more in-depth look into the project. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribe. Till next time, y'all!